a good team win. You finished this homestand 5-1. and one. You've won seven of your last ten. This team's kind of turned a corner a little bit. A big last couple of weeks for this team. Absolutely. It's been nice to get back on the uh, winning side of things. Struggled uh, a little bit earlier, played some good teams, but uh, playing at the Bear definitely helps for six games, helps you get back on track. You got that big series win this weekend against UNO with that shutout. We've seen some of the pitching come alive. We saw Moyer get pitcher of the week. Your starter tonight, Cody Davenport, two scoreless innings. And I know getting him and Moyer back and what we're probably going to see in the weekend rotation, that's going to kind of set the table and kind of send us on a different path the rest of the year. Absolutely. Mark had a heck of a week last week, uh, getting his first win on midweek and then shut out on Sunday, getting pitcher of the week, definitely deserved it. And uh, Davenport, seeing him come back, seeing him throw those two shutout innings today was uh, really good to see. I'm really optimistic for him for the rest of the year. Will Brand's been sharp on the midweeks, again, ending a two-third and I gave up a run, but struck out two and Ty Tice. Get to see him kind of in a role that he's more used to in that back end. Got the first save of the year for the Bears, struck out one, got the double play ball. Talk about how this rotation is now setting up when you have a guy like Moyer and Davenport starting, but now with Gray in the back end who can also start games, but Tice back into more of a normal role. Brand, who can be a long guy as well. Hagerla, he pitched well again tonight. The way this rotation starting to set up and seeing some of the confidence in these guys kind of start stepping up as we get to the midway part of the year. Absolutely. Tice, you know, he uh, he throws the heck out of the ball, and uh, seeing him on the backhand definitely uh, definitely helps this team and uh, the rotation. Uh, it's set for this weekend, and hopefully we can go down to Northwestern and take, them, take all three. What is it about playing against your hometown team you like? You seem to always have good at-bats against them. You just missed one. What was it in the uh, in the seventh inning? You just kind of got jammed enough, couldn't get your arms extended, but that last one obviously cranked it pretty good. But you always get to seem to get the starts against UAPB and always seem to capitalize against them. Against a pretty good team, mind you. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's always fun seeing Pine Bluff on their jersey. You know, being from there, growing up. Um, I know a few of the guys played against them in high school and played them in summer ball, so uh, it's definitely nice to see them. Uh, it's really nice when we go down there, but uh, we go down there later this year, but I really enjoy it. Obviously a junior, but you've been around a while, one of these upperclassmen, kind of a leadership role. We've seen the offense transform. A guy like Keaton Presley at the top, Jansen McCurdy has really taken over that two-hole, set the table, and then what Hunter Strong and, and especially Eddie Sanchez toward the bottom. We've kind of seen a different order this year, but – You've seen them kind of start taking place. Somda surfs back into order. Obviously, you can come off the bench. Davenport can hit a little bit. But the way the offense is really taking shape with the top of the order getting on base and guys like Strong and even Hancock who got a day off today driving them in. Yeah, it's a, it's nice to see uh, KP, uh, Keaton Presley. He's been on fire lately, and so is Jansen. And uh, Strong, he's just a hit machine. All he does is hit. So it's definitely good to see those guys get on base. They all got some speed, still a few bags, and uh, get some runs early on and just build from there. Obviously, one of the big things, although you're still a game under 500 overall, but one thing that's been consistent is the defense on this team. And we saw it again tonight, a couple of great plays by Strong at first base. He's been sharp. Sanchez has been fantastic. Our outfield's been tracking down balls. But as a catcher now, now you've spent time at first base, just depending on where you're asked to fill your role and you're more than willing to accept it. But when you see it from whatever angle you do, whether at first base or behind the plate, the way this defense has been key, especially for this pitching staff that's been trying to get more consistent as we've gone along. Absolutely. Uh, the pitching staff, I know it helps them a lot to know that they've got a really good defense behind them. You know, they just need to pound the zone. And, uh, you know, any ball put in play, it, our outfield can go get it and our infield can definitely turn it. So it's uh, it's definitely good for them to know that we've got their back. Obviously, you got these wins here at home, 5-1 and one on a homestand. But more importantly, that series win, how important it is now to not let this momentum go to waste, carry it over into two big series on the road against teams that you're fighting with, Northwestern State and Houston Baptist. Absolutely. Uh, Northwestern, I don't even know their record, but I know that uh, we've been down there. This will be my third time to go down there. I know it's always tough to um, win down there, so taking this momentum, it definitely helps. Then Houston Baptist, we went down there a couple years ago and uh, still got a bad taste in our mouth about that one. So uh, hopefully we can go down there and uh, take care of business and keep this thing rolling. Thanks for your time tonight. Congratulations. Good to see you, Steve. Let's keep it rolling. Good Absolutely. to see you, Mac.